Hi everyone, Leslie Ray with Leslie Ray's Crafty Gig, and it is um, Friday. It's the second Friday of the month. It's hard to believe time is passing so quickly this month. Um, and I'm trying to turn my, my stuff down on my phone. It's just as I was fixing to come in, my phone went off and it, it took my, my attention away. Um, as I said in my, my teaser, um, I'm going to do some, some felting today. I've had a very enormously busy day and <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm blubbering quite well. I'm glad to hear it. Um, I've had a enormously, strangely busy day and so I am, um, I'm going to do some felting because felting always makes me happy, um makes me nice and calm and relaxed. I wanted to show again what I had done first real quick on um, on the reboot this week. We had reboot on Thursday with my odd girls and I had created these cute little um, gift tags to go on my packages for Christmas. So I made that one and I made this one if I can get it to focus. I really like that one. Hi, Carrie. And, and I made this one. Carrie, do you like my, my doodle, my Zentangle inspired doodle that I created? I'm going to call it, um, snow and flake. Snow are the little, little lofty things of snow down here. And then the flakes are the, the variety of little stars around it. What do you think? You like snow and flake? See, here's another one. Another snow and flake. I have to make a dealie, a little special thing like they make for doing your, your Zentangly things. That's the first one I think I've ever created myself. I don't think anybody else has done that. Maybe you can tell me if you've seen somebody else have done that. Yeah, step out. Thank you. <laughs> step out. <laughs> Carrie knows the real name, right? But that's the first one of those I've ever created, so that I don't think I've ever seen anybody else's like that. So, but anyway, like I was saying, it was kind of a crazy day, so I wanted to um, kind of bring it down and do a little, a little, little needle felting. And I got the other day in the mail. Um, because I wore out my favoriteest needle on the planet, I, I ordered a few new ones. And this is, this is my favorite needle for getting a lot of stuff done. It's the number 38 star. Um, these are made by Wisteria, I believe, is the company. Um, but I found that instead of ordering them from the company, it was cheaper to order through um, Cut Rate Crafts they had a better deal on them. So I got myself one through Cut Right Crafts. And they stick them in these little um, stirring sticks like, like you would stir your coffee with. And that's how they send them to you. And see it has two holes down in there. And you stick one in there. So I'm going to grab out my number 38 star. And then also this skinny mini number 40 triangle. It's a number 40 triangle. Let's see, And I'm going to get this one too because it's it's nice and nice and tiny and does a lot of good detail stuff. So I'm going to get those two out. And just like I was doing the um, the tags with the Zentangle and the, the Tangle inspired stuff I may do a couple of little tags um, that I can then add a piece of card to and make it into um, one side will be a little a tag of art and the other side will be you know the two from and it'll be on a piece of paper. So what I want to do is get out a piece of 
a piece of this green. I'm going to use a piece of this green for one of them. I like this green. And I'm going to get a card that I want to copy around. I'm going to use this size card. So is everybody having fun? Is everybody having as busy a Friday? You don't know anything about needle felting? Well, I am going to... Um, there's lots of ways to do needle felting, Carrie. Um, I like to approach it this way where I have like a base. And the base I'm using is not even real... It's not a wool felt. This is just like an acrylic felt like you can get at Walmart um, in packages. So, and, and the neat thing is, let me get some scissors that apparently somebody used those scissors for something else. Um, the neat thing about needle felting is it doesn't all have to be wool to do it. Um, you can use what felt you have. And so like in this case, I'm using some Walmart felt and I'm using some wool roving, um, I have, I have a couple of fibers that sometimes I use that are wool, but they're not roving. They're made out of, um, out of yarns that I have that are natural fibers. It's harder to felt with the acrylic fibers I have found. Um, but for, for just generic needle felting a um, you can just also just felt pieces of felt to felt you don't even have to have wool roving if you don't want to I like having wool roving for some things uh, you can use an open cookie cutter and felt straight into that if you want to um, And I'm not going to worry so much about making this really perfect yet because what will happen is, is as I felt, this will stretch a little bit. So then I'll, I'll square it up and make it look even more perfect later. Right now I've just got to cut out a piece that I, I want to work with. And so I have that. And I, um, you can get a brush. Right now one of my, one of my friends has a a big set of stuff. She's got some individual needles. She's got a needle tool. She's got a brush. She's got some roving. Let's see if this side is better. This side's not much better. Sorry. I have my hairy piece of foam here. I think the cat found it and loved on it. But anyway, um, you don't have to use a piece of, of brush to do your needle felting you can use a piece of foam and this is just like cushion foam like you would put in um, a pillow or something yeah but the needles the needles are special the needles have a little bit of barb on them so that when so when you stick them in you can kind of see see how far up I can get I have this lamp in my way hang on let me move the lamp so you can see better Okay, um, let's see, you can see that better. See the little barbs on the edge there? Those little barbs will pick up the fiber and push it through so that it locks into your base felt, your substrate. And that's what you want. Um, if you have a place like, I believe Mom's uh, Michael's had them, or maybe Joanne's. Maybe she'll come back in a minute and tell us. But places like that have them, and um, that works really well. Uh, you can buy them in little sets. Um, right now what I'm looking for is a piece of white felt. I have all kinds of colors, but I don't seem to have any white. I have a lovely cream, but I don't want a cream snowman. I want a white snowman. So here's where I'm going to use my white. 
And this roving I bought at that kind of store. And I bought a package that had a whole bunch of rounds. And so um, I just take out what I need. And usually a little bit goes a long way. And so I want to make, what I want to make is a snowman and a little snow scene kind of. So I'm going to roll up some fiber like this to start making my base. And I'm going to... I'm going to use this one instead. I think this is my star. And I'm going to just kind of work him in. As you see, I just start poking. And poking him in. Push and poke. I like this because this is so relaxing. Already poking little things into fiber. It's sticking on there pretty good. You look at the back and it's starting to come through. And he's starting to stick on there good. Now, I like doing it with single needles like this instead of getting out my big tool. I have the big tool that will do five needles or six needles at a time. Um, I find this more relaxing and also I can, I can tell it where I want it to go. I don't have to, um, I have more control over using one needle. And since I like to do little pictures like this, one needle to me works a lot better. And one needle also works really well, like if you want to um, do some sculpting, like when I made made the Santa and the and the tree and the snowman, I did this with one needle, and that's all felt too. And here's Santa. Santa's a little dusty. Santa needs some uh, TLC. But here's Santa. And I did him with just the felting needle. So. My, uh, my snowman is going to go live overseas. So I've got him in a package ready to go. I was hoping he would get there by Christmas, but I don't think he's going to since he's still in Texas. So, but and my my Santa is part pieces of felt and part roving, whereas the tree was one hundred percent roving. So see, here's like a little base of my snow dude. I really like how that's doing. Hi, guess welcome. If you want to join us, come on in. I'm talking to, to friends over in the chat. You can log in to your stream and ask questions and chat with the people who are viewing. Oh, hi, Dee Dee. Thank you. I like my Santa very much. Um, I have a couple of friends online who who do needle felting and uh, do the three-dimensional sculpture like that. And those were my first attempts at doing um, 
the three-dimensional sculpture like that. And I did those for a, um, a blog hop this summer. And I really, really like them. I thought about making some for, um, for, like, to sell and stuff, but I'm not sure I could get my time <laughs> that it took me. I have to get a lot faster than I was. Those took a lot of time and a lot of, um, a lot of holding, you know, getting things held in my hand the way I wanted them to. Okay, I really kind of like how my little snow guy is coming out on here. Um, he's nice and fluffy. Hi, Don. And see, if you look at the back, you see where it's all kind of come through. It should look like that. It's supposed to look like that. So there's that. I'm going to wait to put my snow on in just a minute. But he needs a scarf. And um, I'm going to do a little tone on tone with a scarf. And we need a tree. I, I think he needs a, a little tree in the background. So I'm going gonna, gonna to get some, some green going here. And when I do this tree, I'm going to make him go up a little. I have extra pieces of tree stuck in my tree. I took this, um, I took my, my box with me to an outdoor craft show. And occasionally... I find I have pieces of tree and uh, greenery stuck in my in my box. I look like a piece of a a grass thing. This is going to be a skinny tree. I hope everybody is having a pleasant Friday. Um, like I was saying earlier, my my Friday was very busy. I did not get away from work until 7 o'clock. All of a sudden today, uh, we've had a kind of quiet week, and all of a sudden today, people decided that they were going somewhere. It was time to go somewhere and they were going to go and they were going to go now. So, <laughs> um, and of course this was the day that it's also, um, our, our high school football team here is, um, playing their, their championship game for the state. And so, my boss and her family took off to go to that and so I was in the office alone and that's also another time when they always you know have have that happen is oh Deidre's gonna be out of town okay let's all call and see if Leslie Ray is busy because of course Leslie Ray is busy she is a one-armed paper hanger so um but that's okay that's good. So I, uh, I was at the office till seven o'clock, paying and planning for trips for people. So it's a good thing. Business is good, right? That's what we say. So, but I'm sure. And then a lot of people decided today, of all days, that. They decided they were giving their loved ones trips for Christmas. So they came in today to start planning the trip that they were giving for Christmas. And uh, that was kind of funny. It's like, okay, you, you've just now decided you want to give a trip. You So... I think that needs just a little bit of dark green back in there. I got a little too light green in the middle. Kind of break it up a little. 
So hopefully, everybody say go Jackets. Hopefully the Jackets will come out victorious in their game. They had already scored twice before the first quarter was up a while ago. So, yay team. Right now, I, I just got score update. It's Stephenville, 28. The other guys, 14. So, our guys are doing good. I have several crochet projects that I'm working on, Carrie, for Christmas presents. I will take pictures and post after Christmas. Um, but I, uh, I have quite a few crochet things. So I like that tree. That's kind of a fun little tree. May do another little tree beside it. Yeah, really. Go team. Yay. Go jackets. I'm wearing my blue shirt. Actually, I'm wearing Bill's blue shirt. I'm wearing Bill's blue shirt to show support. But they're playing in Cowboy Stadium tonight, which is up where my mom is. But I just really didn't. I felt like I wanted to stay here with you guys. Because if you joined me <laughs> last time in November, uh, it was kind of crazy. I was having weird difficulties technologically. And so uh, that stream didn't go so well. But life is quite a bit better. As busy as I'll get out, getting ready for the holidays. Getting ready for the last week of school. This is uh, for you know before school lets out for Christmas. The um, the what you call it? The kids let out on I believe Thursday, and this is Will's first time ever to have final exams. Um, sixth graders didn't have final exams last year. They just had semester tests and stuff, or not semester tests, but six weeks tests. And uh, now, in seventh grade, they get finals and semester exams. So this will be Will's first time to take anything like that. And thank goodness they did review sheets like we did, because I think he would uh, would completely go crazy. But. <coughs> But he's back on track. He doesn't seem to be... He, he gets tired, but I think he's just tired because of all the activity between um, scouting and basketball and band and school all day. And I think he's just tired because he's a 12-year-old boy and it's a tiring schedule. So I think he's doing a lot better. I don't think he's showing concussion symptoms anymore. So there's... There's my little snow dude with his trees. Hi, Vidette. Hi, Jerry. I think that's very fun. And I'm going to put in a little snow. And when I put in my snow, I want to put in, I think, just a tinge maybe of, of like a, let me see if I have a light blue. I have not slowed down since um, since Thanksgiving with crafting and going here and there and yonder. Like I said a couple, of, like maybe a week ago, we already had our first um, holiday party for one of the clubs. Um, Will is in um, a shooting sports club and they had their holiday party for that. And... 
um, we have a holiday party for scouts this weekend. And so it's just one thing after another. It's just we're slamming into to Christmas really, really fast. So I want to work in just a smidge. And by a smidge, I mean like that much. Just an itty, itty bitty bit of blue into the snow. I'm going to put some snow down here. And I may make in a little bit of purple too. But but I don't want it to look like another snowball, you know what I mean? I want it to be kind of wispy and light. Yeah, this weekend I was supposed to, we were going to um, have the, the holiday court of honor for scouting. And then the next day was supposed to be a friend's birthday celebration. And that was going to be a road trip, but um, that kind of got changed. We're going to do that the next weekend, the weekend before Christmas. And that will also be a hunting weekend. Um, so that's where I will be next week. There will be no scrappy gig next week, just in case you're looking for it. Um, we will be off, but I will do a stream. Um the Friday after Christmas for a crafty gig. Crafty gig will have a normal stream. So. Oops. Pull that a little more. Okay. And I'm just kind of working this blue in just a little bit. Nothing, nothing ultra major. Just a little bit of blue in there. It is a cool craft, Jerry. Um, how old is Jerry? I think I had some uh, 4-H'ers, Will's age, that thought this would be a very cool craft for um, doing for their, you know, for clothing camp and stuff. Now, I know Sam likes to felt. Sam likes to make felt, uh, do the wet felting with the balls and stuff that she made. Ten. Ten is a good age. I mean, because you have you have control over doing stuff like this. And I think I think anybody could do this. I know Sam likes to do this too. But you know, you don't poke people like your brother or your mom or your grandma or your sister. But I mean it's very fun because you can make little pictures and you could like I was telling earlier think before you got here um, you could take open cookie cutters not the not the old-fashioned metal ones that are closed but open cookie cutters and you can felt inside of those too and that is very fun I got a piece of black in there too I think I want to put just a smidge very small smidge of purple in there Amanda's daughter and I had a a conversation about um, the colors of snow, and in her world, snow was only blue and white. And in my in my world, snow had a little bit of purple and pink in it, and maybe not that much purple and pink. But I like. Ooh, that's a lot of purple and pink when you look at it on the screen, isn't it? Let's put a little more, a little more white on top of that so it's further down. But I found a bunch of cool electron microscope pictures, and really, in the electron microscope picture world, it's gray and white and kind of boring. But you know, <laughs> um, at at the um, There was some that I guess they had either died or just kind of taken some some creative license with and added in some some pink and purple and I think the pink and purple are really pretty. So 
If you haven't picked up Amanda's free snowflake paper, you need to do that. They are gorgeous. If somebody reminds me later before we leave, I'll I'll show my snowflake cards and y'all can see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna do a little more over here. And then I want to do a couple little snowflakes and then we'll put the details on the snowman on this one. Now, if you made these big enough, you could make a, like a little bag and put a gift card in it. I made it about the size of a gift card, so you really couldn't do that for this, I don't think. Not easily, anyway. So, I like my snow at the bottom. Also, a neat thing would be if you had um, some Angelina fibers, if you know what that is and work that into there. I think that would be very, very cute. Does everybody know what an Angelina fiber is? They're, um, they're really super fine. They use them a lot in quilting. They have a unique ability, like you can iron them and they will fuse. And they're very sparkly. And they're super, super fine. Like like this kind of fine, only instead of being um, a natural material, they're a man-made material. Very, very shiny. And very, very super fine. And you could weave that in there and add a little sparkle. I think that would be very cool. I'll have to dig around and find my Angelina fibers and show you that one day because I think that would be very pretty. Okay, let's do a couple of snowflakes. And the way I'm going to do my snowflakes is I'm going to wad a little ball of, of roving up. And this is probably going to be bigger than what I need for other snowflakes, but this will be, this will be the big snowflake. Yeah, this is going to be big. Okay. Um, And Angelina fibers are nice and long. Um, I believe you can get some kind of similar product at US Art Quest. I think they have something similar to Angelina fibers. Now, I can, after I get this all squared up the way I want it, I can either go ahead and adhere a piece of paper to it and do some stitching around it with the paper already on it. Um, or I can stitch around it and then add the paper. I think I'm going to stitch around it and then add the paper. Yes, Fidette, they're very, very sparkly. And when I, when I do this little circular motion, I'm making the fibers wrap around my needle so that they, um, it helps contain them so I can poke them in if you're wondering what I'm doing. So there's starting to get some snowflakes on there. <sighs> okay, Vidette, come back. I love my little snowman so far. What's funny 
is I live in Texas where we barely hardly ever have snow but probably my favorite winter holiday imagery are snowflakes and snowmen. One of the first set of modern stamps and I say modern stamps because I have some stamps that I bought when I was 12, 13, 14 years old. So they're they're better than 30 years old. But um, probably one of my favorite modern stamps that I've bought, my first set, was a Close to My Heart set, and it was Snowflakes. So this one had a little bit of pinky purple in it. You see that? Yeah, I don't want to stay in the snow. I, I like living in Texas because there's no snow. I just like the imagery of snow. I like the idea of snow. <laughs> it's like the one lady, uh, this one person that I was working with today. Um, they're doing a snow trip. And, uh, of course, our... Uh, Fun jet, all their snow trips are mainly in the west. So think Telluride, think Jackson Hole, Tahoe, Steamboat, all those kind of places. Well, you can also ski in the east, like um, all kinds of places all over Vermont and New York and all this kind of stuff. Okay. And <laughs> so. Um, he wanted to go to New York with his kid, and then he wanted to go skiing. But his kid didn't want to go skiing, and, which he said, you know, I can't imagine. He said he's just never done it. didn't seem like something he'd want to do. And I was thinking, you know, if my mom was paying and invited me to go skiing, even though I don't know how to ski, I would go just to spend time with my mom. Um... And to people watch. When is my next birthday? My next birthday is in March. <laughs> and so, you know, I would go and people watch and have a good time. And <coughs> that's just the kind of person I am. You know, even if I don't like what the activity is, I would go. But I would, especially if mom and dad were paying or dad was paying, I wouldn't tell him I wouldn't go. So... We were talking about that, and I was talking to the lady in Stowe, Vermont, and um, I've sent people to the Stowe area during the spring and in the fall, and Stowe is just gorgeous. Every Everything I've ever seen about Stowe is gorgeous, 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 and um, Stowe is... Um, of course, they're a big ski area. And one of what's so funny is one of the resort places there is called Stowflake, like Snowflake, only with a stow. Um, and Amanda's about 10 years younger than me. And so it's, so we were talking about stow, and the lady was saying, oh, he's going to have so much fun, and, you know, skiing, and don't you just love skiing? I'm like, I don't think I would. <laughs> and she's like, why? You know, why wouldn't you? And I'm like, you know, nothing, nothing about strapping on a pair of sticks and hurling myself down a mountain appeals to me. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to ride the lift. I think it'd be fun to, to people watch, definitely. Um, you know, get on a, a, a horse-drawn sled and, and ride around. But, you know, I, I don't want to ski. On any level. And she was like, oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, couldn't convince me to ski. But that's okay. I like to look at snow. I like the idea of snow. But when it's snowy and icy outside on the ground, my favorite place to be is inside. <laughs> Reading a book, snuggled up in a blanket, sitting in front of a fire that kind of stuff. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, Amanda's daughter? Yeah, my Sam is 6. My Will is 12. Okay, my brain says I need one more snowflake because I have an odd number. I mean, an even number right now. <laughs> Booga is three. For now, Booga is three. Booga was two all the way up to the week he turned three. So, you know. You have to cross country ski in gym class. How crazy is that? We have cross country running, but I kind of feel about running like I do about skiing. I, I don't want to run either. <laughs> I watch all these people doing, uh, you know, the couch potato to jogger programs. I have there's lots of people in my life here in Stephenville that are doing that, and I think, wow, that's amazing. You know, that's cool. They like, you know, and they'll say, oh, cheer me on, I'm doing such and such, and I'll go, go, you know, and it goes to their phone while they're jogging. And they're like, you want to join me? And I'm like, no, <laughs> never. <laughs> I'm a yoga girl. We don't run in yoga. And, uh, you know, so here's my snowflakes. I like my snowflakes. They're funny. Okay, now we need to put some details on Mr. Snowman. Okay, let's see. Mr. Snowman needs a nose. It must be nice to get all the seasons. We, I guess we kind of get all the seasons sometimes. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we get more seasons than others. We get a lot of summer. Okay. I think my snowman wants to look this way. So I've, I've got out a little bit of orange. And I do mean a little bit. And I'm going to go right there. Random snow over here that fell off. Hang on. There we go. Okay, so here's his nose. He's looking up at the snow. And then I'm going to put a little bit of, get a little black out for his eyes and stuff. And see, again, just a little, little bit. Thanks. I think he's pretty cute too. I'm going to start so I can practice my little, my little dots doing some down his belly for some coal down his belly. So I'm going to go right
and then do another one right there. A little more to that first dot, I think. So here's here's some beads on his belly. Now add a little bit for his eyes. Kind of get some of... I'm just going to trim a little right here instead of keep trying to work that in because it's going to keep pulling it down. That makes the piece I have to work in a little bit smaller. There you go. And then I'm going to add at least one eye right here. That's a big old eye. <laughs> I keep pushing. I can push that down a little more. Now the neat thing with felting is if I didn't like this when I got done, I could pull it all up because it's not glued down or anything. It's just pushed through the back side and I could pull it all out. So... So here he is. He's looking right. And now he needs a little scarf. And I think I think I want to give him a cute little pink scarf. And since the pink I have is much darker. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of this pink felt and cut a real skinny little strip of it. And I've done this with the black too before I had black roving. Is um, take and cut skinny pieces to put where I want them. And I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to start right there, tucking in my pink. And and these would make cute little card fronts too if you didn't want to um, make gift cards with them or whatever or gift tags for packages you could do your little scene and then put it on a bigger card and um, it would be it would be very cute like that too now I want to go down the front because I think I want my um, one piece of my scarf to go down the front along the side of his belly. But probably not that long. Or maybe, I don't know. Let's see how far I want it to go. go back right there. And then one piece to kind of go off the side. 
Oops. <laughs> Let's try this then. If you want to play that way, we'll go like this. And this one to go like that. There we go. So he has a little, little pink scarf on. <laughs> I love him. I think he looks very cute. Okay. So now would be the point at which I would stop and kind of square up my edges. Because you can kind of see where it, it kind of fanned out a little as I was working on it. Or maybe you can't. I'm not sure. So I'm going to um, give it a nice little trim right here, and a nice little trim right there, and then kind of come up the side here and straighten that up a little, and then come across the top a little. So, here he is, kind of straightened up, and let's see, it's 9 o'clock. I can either show you stitching around it, I'm just going to do like a little blanket stitch around it, or I can show you another, another one. Which do you prefer? Show stitching it so you can see it completely finished, or show making another one. A different one instead of building the whole thing from roving, um, you know, build it differently. You'd like to see a different one? Okay, let's do it. Let's do a different one. Any cute? Okay, I love him. Eager. <laughs> Here's like you know, I'm good. Just for variety's sake. I know. What if I can't give this one away? No, I can. I will. Okay. <laughs> let me let me change gears here. Um, I know he's very cute. What if I can't give him away? Do I have to give him away? Okay. Let's do. Let's do one with some packages. So let's do a, a red one, maybe. There's a piece of red. This one's a little bigger. I'll do a red one with some different packages on it. <laughs> I made my decide. I'll give him away. I mean, that's part of why I made him was to give him away, right? It's supposed to be joyous and in the season. And here is a tall package. Bring that pink back. Like a skinny package, a long one. The <laughs> to the bar she far be eaten. 
that I made them to give away, so I should give them away. Ah. Uh, well, I try to, I try to, especially something like that, I can recreate that. Um, you know, I, the intent was to give it away, so I want to give it away, and then I'll make another one to keep. And so, let's see, the pieces of this will have a little bit wider some of them. And I'll, I'll show you some neat things you can do with heaven. Um, pieces of felt instead of roving. Let's see. Because not only can you use, um, you know, pieces for real skinny pieces, you can also use pieces for other stuff. So we'll need that piece. And we'll need You have another pan ready. <laughs> yes, I have to I have to work on my holiday baking and cooking. I was talking to Will about what he wanted to do for his teachers. And uh, I know he wants to do some uh, some cooking for them. And really what I think would be fun is to do like a couple of types of chocolate stuff, you know. And uh, Give those away. And then for the green one, do dark green. Maybe. Or do poppy. Hot pink would be fun. Yeah. We don't have a hot pink package, that's what we need. Ooh, three layer with two layers of chocolate nom. Okay, so we got some of that. And then we need some of the light green to go with the hot pink. Okay. All right, this is a multi-part thing. When we get these done, we may want to add one more package so there'll be an odd number. Right now we've got an even number. I mean, actually, I'm going to go ahead and make a little one right here. Let's add this little piece of blue right here. Just a little, little baby package on the end. Okay, that'll go on the end. Okay, now... I, I've cut a bunch of little strippy things, right? So, what I want to do is first I want to build the packages. So, I'm going to build them on the green before I put them on the red. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And I'm just felting felt on felt. Same process, same idea. I'm sticking my needle through both layers and getting it stuck down. Now, if I didn't like where this was or I wanted it somewhere else, I could rip it completely off. 
but you can start to see, I think, the little fibers, see them popped up like that? You can start seeing them come through on the other side. Now, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time going over this. I'm going to go over it one more time real lightly because um, I'm going to spend time in a minute sticking it on the base piece. This is just to kind of attach it and have it where I want it. Okay, so here's this. And this one, I want to go across it too. So I'm going to do go ahead and do my crossing also. And really, because this is a big square, this will probably be the top because um, and actually I can I can trim the side a little to make it be perfect. There we go. So I have this tacked on and in place. All right, so that's one package. So here's that one. And now I'm going to build this package. And I may want this one just a just a smidge skinnier. I'm not going to start this this year, but I think next year I'm going to do like a 12 um, gift tags of Christmas thing. It's a little late start now, but I, I was thinking about what I've done in November and December, and I did the gift tags with the uh, the smooshed on ink and the spritz and stuff and then zentangling on it and then I've done the the little tags that are punched and zentangled and then I've done these. Wouldn't it be fun to do 12, 12 gift tags of Christmas? That might be fun. So, this one's gonna go. Oh and this one looks better because you can see the pink coming through better. Isn't that funny? So, I'm going to go over it again one more time, really. Go down those edges. We had one of our coldest days of the year this week. It was just cold. No other... No other symptoms like rain or snow or anything. It was just cold. We usually don't get snow until January or February. <laughs> so, but it was it was cold. It was the very cold. There's another gift right there. Okay, so there's got extra pieces here. Like this. These. Okay, here's this one, and it's going to need a piece of green on it. I think it wants to be a tall package. It may also, no, it needs to be a package with a cross on it. Let's do both sides. It snowed at your house yesterday? Wow. That would be fun if it sticks. If you like that sort of thing. <laughs> I like for it to snow so I can take pictures of it snowing. And then just be cold. And sometimes I like to take pictures of it getting, you know, all all wintry. As long as I can go back inside and snuggle up. Yeah, I like to look at it. It looks pretty. 
I don't want to have to get out in it. And in fact, well, when I worked for the library, the librarian didn't believe me when I told her I don't do snow days. And, uh, and so it, it came a big old snow and the, uh, I called the director and said, I won't be in today. And she said, well, the library's not closing. And I said, I'm taking a day of sick leave. And she said, oh, and I said, yeah. She said, what's wrong? And I said, I'm sick. And she's like, it's snowed. And I said, yeah, but I'm not coming in. And she's like, but you have to. And I said, no. And she said, well, Drew will come pick you up. And I said, um, if I don't get in the car with my own husband, whom I trust very much to drive me, um, I'm sure as heck not get in the car with some guy that I've never been in the car with to drive. And I said, and besides that, I'm bigger than he is. And he's going to have to get me off of the porch. It's not about the driving. It's about leaving the house off of the porch and going down the stairs. And I'm not doing it. <laughs> so... Um, I didn't go into to work that day. I took sick leave. And they weren't going to let me take sick leave. I said, nope, I'm taking sick leave. And they, they had to let me because I had it. So, but, yeah. There's some, some packages. And this one's just going to have a little piece on it. You know, it it snows here where it like effectively shuts things down. Not even consistently enough to be considered once a year. And I should not have to go out in that if I don't want to. You know? I just shouldn't. Let's see. Where do I want to go? No, I don't want to go that way. I'm moving my packages around. I'd run out of leaves. <laughs> That's true. But see, I don't live there, Carrie. <laughs> I live in Texas. It's not supposed to snow. There we go. Let's do this. Let's go here and we'll bring this one down and this one across the front, right? So I kind of like that arrangement. All right. Got some gift bag or gift, little gifty things going. And these don't have to be, you know, completely straight across the bottom. They can kind of overlap. This one's going to overlap down a little. All right. So you see the boxes? Yeah, I, I certainly wouldn't live there. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. What I'm going to do is I have these in place where I want them. So now I'm going to go over the whole thing and because there are small pieces I could get out and and do my big machine that does five at a time but because there are these small pieces it makes it difficult for it to stay if I start going across that with that big machine so obviously using the smaller one is what I want to do and I think I want to use this one because this one is is my one that's the star and it, it covers more real estate 
Okay. What do I do here? So I've built my packages on, you know, put my ribbons on my package, most of my ribbons. I'll come back in a minute and show you some more stuff with that. And then I've, I'm placing my packages on my base. Okay. So. I'll move this just a minute to get this one tacked down a little better. I'll move this out of the way just a little bit right here. So. This one right here. Okay. And now I'm going to put this one down last. So now I've got them all stuck down. Okay? They're all stuck. So, but they're barely stuck. Can you see? You can see the back side here. They're just kind of outlined. They're not stuck real hard. Okay? I'm moving my, my stuff around here. I've got some, okay, I'll use these, these in a minute, I'll move them over to the side. So I'm going to come in now, now that I've got it stuck down like that, I could now go in and, but if I'm trying to relax and decompress, I want to just do it by hand. And what I like about this is you can barely tell right here that that was crossed over. Just simply how much. And you notice the little hole like little marks? That's because of, of the needle and the needle felting. But I like that look. If you're worried about the hole like looking little marks, you could get a smaller gauge needle and um, it would not be as noticeable.
And then the last package here. Now you could do something similar and glue it all down and you know, call it good. But honestly, I think it's more, um, I think it's a prettier finish doing the felting than if you had glued all this. And then now I've come back through, it's a lot more stuck down. Okay, now we get to have fun. And the best part is, is you can cut skinny strips like this, okay, and make a ribbon. So like this package needs a little bow. So I'm going to kind of tack it right there and leave this where it flaps, okay. I'll show you this up close in just a minute. And then I'm going to make a loop and just tack it in the middle. And I'm going to make another loop. up here where it just kind of tacks right there and I'll make another loop because I want three loops on my loopy bow or I may make four loops I don't know yet let's start with three I think I like the three loops on this bow. Maybe four. It needs a fourth loop. I think it needs a fourth loop. Let's do one more loop. And do this final loop right here. And now I can cut that off right there. And so now we have this very cute little three-dimensional loop, or four, you know, three-dimensional loopy bow. And if you wanted to, you could then go in later and sew a bead or glue a bead or whatever, or you can leave it. And just for good measure, if you decided you didn't like the bow there, you could pull it off. I'm not going to pull him off because it would not make me happy to pull him off. So now you can go in and and make big bows and spots. So and you don't even have to make the bows have little tails. That one just just screamed like it needed a little tail. But but this one. You could make it a lot fatter. I'm going to make him bigger, so I'm going to make bigger loops at first. So that it goes all the way across like that. And because these were shorter pieces to cut, my piece stops at three. That's okay, I've cut some more. So I'll pop one in there.
add one more loop. If I do this right, the loop will look like it's hidden under here. So I'm going to try to stick it where it, the top will go over like that. So let me grab this to cut it real quick and then stick this under. And kind of floof him so he has like a little little bow going on. Love my little floofy bows. I don't know how about you feeling about floofy bows, but I like my little floofy bows. This one's just going to be a little, a little two bow. I'm gonna give it a, right now it looks like it has a little tail the way I cut it, but I'm going to pull that back over so that it just kind of fits in there. There we go. And then take and make a little blue bow. Well, thank you, Don. And really, these little packages you could do for any occasion. You wouldn't have to necessarily do these for Christmas. You could do them for birthdays or anniversaries or weddings. Do some real pretty little white ones with some some gray felt or you know some other fun color. Whatever the the wedding color is. My wedding was pink and blue, like over here on the end that I'm working on now, so. there and another one here One more loop. Let's see. It's going to go down in here a little. I don't think we're hearing much from Amanda because I envision that she's still painting um, little Christmas ornaments for her, her troop. Hopefully she got green paint earlier today. Since she decided I live too far away for green paint. 
Okay, and we need we need a little more pink to finish this one. So let me grab some more pink. Plan B on the green. That doesn't sound good. How dare they be out of green paint during Christmas season? Sounds sacrilege to me. Okay, and this is going to be. I think I'm going to start on this end. This is going to be a big bow on this one, too. Ah, big markets. Yes, big markets to the rescue. That's why I have so many green and red big markets is because I bought several last year when I was doing the uh, doing my tangling on my cards so that so that I didn't run out This way. I want to bring this around just a smidge. This comes out like this. And then finally, this last little loop right there. And bring that little piece in. So here we have loopy bows. Aren't these fun? Little loopy bows everywhere. It's very dimensional when you look at it sideways. And then the back is all you know, stuck down real good. So, so now I would square this up and then do my stitching and then put my card on the back of it that I'm going to do my two from on and if I wanted to I could come in and do polka dots on some of the packages or whatever make them a little more interesting you know and I would do that with the with the mohair and, or the the wool instead of just trying to keep doing it with felt unless I really wanted to make it match and then I would do a real like take real skinny pieces of the felt like this so that they they almost become a piece of wool by themselves. So even though this is an acrylic felt that I bought like at Walmart, um, when it's this small, I can treat it like a piece of wool felt. So and you get to see how dry my hands can be working with all this stuff. It gets very dry in the winter. So, anybody have any questions? I think since we have a little bit of time, I think I'm going to go back to him and I'm going to do my stitching on him. So, what do you think? I think so.
So I'm going to take my palest pink because that's going to tie in with his um, with his little scarf. And I'm going to pull some of that off. No. I'll, I'll stitch on this one later. Put it aside. And let me grab in here. My needle that I want to stitch with. See if I can get this open. Here we go. I go with this one. We have been joined by Miss Playful. She's over here rubbing her face on everything. And I'm going to go with two to three strands I think I'm going to do three if I can get three through the hole let's see let's see three in a hole ha ha yay And I'm going to make a little knot. I guess it's a good sign that I was able to thread that today because I was getting really, really tired working on some projects <laughs> earlier this fall. I could not see to thread the needle. so. I'm very pleased I was able to thread the needle with you guys today. <laughs> Yay me. Not as tired as I was. And um, to start this, I go back into the hole where I started. And for the first one, and only for the first one, I go through that loop twice. I don't know if that's the proper way to start a buttonhole, but that's the way I always start it because in my opinion it makes a neat little stitch right there and just looks pretty and then I'm gonna go around neat little stitches because normally I would just do a simple blanket buttonhole kind of stitch where you go in and that's a little further out than I want to go And then make one under the loop so that when it comes down does anybody have any questions Check on my chat here, it's not moving.
Thanks, Fidette. I like the snowman, too. I like the packages, too. I like the the three-dimensionality of those as well. Sam will be participating um, for the second time in the youth fair this year. She'll be doing a drawing, and I believe she said she was doing some more jewelry, and then she wants to make. Is the football game over? No, it's not, but my, my scorekeeper is over. He is snoring on the couch right now. He, uh, he's had a hard day. He has a bit of a a bug, and so he hasn't been sleeping very well because of that. But then on top of that, today was early release day because all the kids were were leaving. Well, they they used the buses, but everybody wanted to make it to the game, so they let everybody out at like two hours early and um, so he's had the kids since 1 and 1 30 and then he took them he took Sam to basketball practice and you know waited for me to get off of work at 7 instead of 5 and so in, in the middle of all that he had promised Sam he'd eat lunch with her so he went to eat lunch with her and uh, it's been a it's been a long day for Mr. Bill after working all night and battling this cold. So I am not going to I'm not going to wake him. I may go see if somebody on Facebook has a score posted. It was twenty eight fourteen at some point, but I don't know if Stephenville has allowed them to score more yet or not. So, I hope they do good. They have won, they have won championships since we've lived here. We've lived here, well, I've lived here 20 years. But, um, it's been, they've made it to the playoffs many times. But it's been a while since they made the championship game and the championship. They made it to the game and lost a couple of times, but... It's a pretty, it's a pretty good team, a pretty good coach. You know, I came from a 5A school, and we went to, we went to state a number of times, and the year after I graduated, they won state. Um, and so to go from that to a 4A team, and now a 3A team that has, um, has big football, you know, it's, it's nice to, to live in that atmosphere. I've always enjoyed high school football. Um, I enjoy college football more myself personally. Um, college football is probably where my favorite is. Pro football is okay, but I like I like college ball better. I usually stay on top of Notre Dame and State and, and what all they're doing. kind of fun being in band because of course the band has to go right so even though Will is not a a uh, football player he is in band and 
his attendance will be necessary at, at games. So, I don't know that he's ever been to, well, he's been to one when I was, um, for my class reunion. He went to a football game, but he hasn't been to one since. So, it will be fun. Now that I'm close to the end here, and I've only gone halfway around, I am going to stop in this corner, and I'm going to leave this loose until I stitch over it a little bit. Let me get the other piece. While I'm getting the other piece, I'll check and see if anybody's got, got score on Facebook. That's where we would find it. Let's see. Let's see. Anybody got a score? I don't see a score there. I know where their score would be. Just a minute, let me type. Steven Bill That would either be there. Let's see. Live chat. We don't care about live chat. I saw today on my college alma mater that um, they're going to be live streaming graduation ceremony this year, which I think is fan flippin' tastic. Such a great idea. Bill, what's the score? Okay. The snoring man woke. Hang on a minute. He'll get us the score update. It says there's live coverage here, but it's not coming up very quickly. It's, it's slow like live coverage. Let's see. Kick is good. Jacket's 42. El Campo, 35. Wow. That's a little close, guys. <laughs> Yeah. What I say, forty two thirty five? Yeah, forty two thirty five is the score right now. Yeah. Isn't that cool to stream graduation? Can't you imagine? I mean, because think about it. You know, your grandma lives in a whole other part of the world or whatever and can't be at your graduation if she has internet access or has a friend with internet access. She could watch it on the computer. I think that's an awesome idea. So. Yeah. Way to go. TSU. I've always been in favor of stuff like that. Okay. Well, that's a crappy first start on a knot. Let's pull that out that way. Okay. Yeah, I hope Stephenville doesn't mess around and and lose it. But but it is a close game, so that makes it a good match. They scored early within the first six minutes of the game. 
they had scored like two touchdowns. So that looked like it was going to be a, a beaten, but I'm glad the other team came to play too. Because it's no fun when you just beat them into the ground. You know? I like a fair match. Oh. So. Now, if you're wondering what I did here, let me show you. I started my new piece of string, piece of floss. And so it started right here. It looks like a big wad of knot right now. I'm sorry. Let's see. There we go. I started it right here. But when I started it, it looped funny right here on top. So I pulled the knot. So the knot is really back here on that piece of string, even though I started it way over here. So I'm stitching over it. And then this right here, these little hairs, this is the string that I didn't knot. I just pulled over. Okay. Now when I come back and and glue my piece of paper on the back here, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac to glue it. And I'll make sure these pieces are underneath the paper. Because see, they'll be able to fit under the paper. And this piece here where I knotted, this will be under the paper down here. Okay? Does that make sense? Any questions about that? got a new monitor yesterday and I'm enjoying my new monitor but I don't have apparently my new monitor has speakers and then my speakers of course are speakers and apparently I need to go tell them to to work well together hi mommy because um, <laughs> I have no volume coming through my speakers right now even though like when you switch things around you can hear it make that that speaker pop but it's not a bad pop it's just a you know, kind of noise, and I can hear it, so I know my speakers are still plugged in, so I've got to go tell my monitor it's, it's noise is coming through my speakers and not through my monitor, but I like my new monitor because it's wide, and so I can see my, I can see stuff. I, I have, like, in the background, I can see my my Facebook, so if somebody's talking to me on Facebook, except right now I accidentally pulled it back down, I can see, I can see real good my stream over here of people chatting with me, and I can see my stuff over here of, of me streaming, so it's, it's nice, it's nice big screen. And I, uh, I use my staple rewards, so Really, it only costs about $7 with my Staples rewards. I know technology is good. So, it's different from a CRT. My old CRT was a dinosaur. And in fact, um, mom had gotten a flat screen from a neighbor that a neighbor was getting rid of because they had gotten a bigger flat screen. And his flat screen is probably about half the size of this one, which makes it smaller than my old CRT. And I asked him, I said, you know, do you want my big screen? And he's like, uh, no, because he wanted the flat screen, even though my CRT is much bigger than what he, what he has. It's like, no, I don't want that old dinosaur. I'm like, you know, don't say ugly words about my old monitor because it was nice and it did a good job. I just want something bigger and nicer. So, it was time for a new monitor. Now I have to save up my, my rewards to get something else fun, right?
had a little loopy make a knot in my string, so I grabbed it real quick before. Oh no! Don't pull through. I grabbed it before it. Um, before it became a problem child. Yeah, this weighed only 10 pounds. It was crazy. My old monitor, I mean, I can't lift it easily. It's humongous. It's very heavy. But this one weighed a whole 10 pounds. I think I need to make a, I know what I'm going to do. I'm making a sock monkey hat for Will. That's one of my crochet projects. And I think I will make him a sock monkey tag to go with it. I think I have the right color of gray felt. Wouldn't that be funny? So he can have his own little sock monkey tag. I will take pictures of all the little tags I make so y'all can enjoy them and put them in like a little slideshow or something. Because I've got a bunch now between the all the different ones I've made. But I think my post tomorrow will be about snow and flake. My my have my step out for my Zentangle inspired uh, tangle. Have you seen anything like that, Carrie? And like on tangles.patterns.com, have you seen any that look like my little snow? Am I kidding myself that that was a an, a quasi-original idea? I mean, I try to look at those pretty often. I mean, I'm not as up on it as, say, Sandra or some of them. Yeah, flake looks a, a bit, but that's why they're snow and flake together. Um, and not separate. They go together. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn? But you know what I'm really tickled about is that Carrie knew that the flake was the flake. Yeah, kind of like ah, but ah doesn't have a dot in the middle. So it's inspired by ah. So we technically, I mean, obviously I'm not Maria. So technically I couldn't call it a new Zentangle pattern. But it would be a, a Zentangle inspired pattern, right? So see now, I think it looks complete, you know, with the, the pink is drawn to the pink on the outside. So that makes it all kind of go together. But any cute? So, so that one's finished, finished, finished. And then this one, all I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to square this up and then I'm going to stitch around it and then again, put on the back a card. So, so those will be two gifty tags for my gifty people. And this one actually, it's big enough that if I wanted to make it where a car, a gift card would fit in it, it could. Yes, I love the bows too. I love the three dimensionality. And, and that's why doing this with felt felt instead of with, with, um, the roving is, is very fun because you can make some really neat 
three-dimensional thingies, you know, you don't have to, I mean, this is three-dimensional, but I couldn't have done loopy bows with this unless I made a piece of felted and then felted them. So they wouldn't have been as, as supple as this. It would have been a lot stiffer. So, but yes, I love how these came out. Very fun. I will take some pictures of it finished with the, the card on the back. And if by chance, while I'm digging around, I find my Angelina fibers this weekend, I may put some in there, but I don't think I'll find them this evening. So, but anyway, good night, mommy. Love you. So that's it. I'm uh, bringing this, this date of, of felting to a close. I love my little projects. I hope they in, inspired you to want to go and felt some too and make some little fabric -y gift tags. Um, you know, if you didn't felt, you could definitely do this with just felt itself and, like I said, glue or whatever. Um, I think this technique could lend itself to something like that. Um, but thank you for coming. I appreciate you all. There will not be a scrappy gig next week so don't look for me on scrappy gig there will be a um on wednesday we will have the reboot and that'll be the last reboot of the year and then we will come back to you in january so there will be a reboot on wednesday no scrappy gig but there will be i think amanda's going to stream on thursday so reboot on wednesday amanda on thursday and there will be a break until next week where we will have um, Christmas for those who are celebrating Christmas and Festivus for those who are celebrating Festivus. And I think Yule is in the middle of all that. And, um, and then I will be back in two weeks with Leslie Ray's Scrappy Gig before the new year. So um, I hope to see you all then. Everybody be safe. Have a great holiday. Um, don't forget to, if you, if you care to keep all the people in Connecticut and in China in your thoughts, um, some pretty, some pretty scary things happened this week. So, and today specifically. So, um, you know, think, think on that if you can, or if you want to, or if you don't want to, that's fine too. But I know that makes me very sad. Uh, think happy things. Go Jackets. I hope they win. And um, have a lovely weekend. Stay out of trouble if you can. If you can't, get in really good trouble. So, good night, guys. Thanks for showing. Thank you.